precious stones are magical and possess multiple virtues and powers. More than 500 in total are exhibited for the first time at the Museum d'Histoire Naturelle in Paris. This is in partnership with the jewellery house Van Khalif and Arpels, who has lent more than 200 jewels for the occasion, as Nicolas Buss, its president, tells us. The whole purpose of this exhibition was to get people to discover, rediscover the world of stones under the name Precious Stones, which is quite broad. These stones are explored through a dialogue between the different disciplines. Firstly, mineralogy, a study of or an interest in rough stones, such as crystal as it comes out of the earth. Secondly, gemology, that is to say, the study of stones which are already selected and sometimes already shaped and cut to be integrated into objects. Lastly, jewellery, which is really one of the arts which the objective is to enhance the stone by integrating it into a metal structure and creating a piece of jewellery that will be worn. One of the things that I find absolutely fascinating in stones is that we are observing inert objects, minerals, in which we have the impression of seeing life. We see the movement, we see the play of light, we see the reflections, we have the impression of seeing a sunset, passage of clouds, flowing water, so things that are naturally ephemeral and which then are captured in elements that are eternal. I think that this explains its fascination. Large stones really have a magic to them. You can watch them for hours, days, years. There will always be something new. We always see this life, this moment, and that is what the jeweler tries to highlight and enhance.